What's up YouTube? Thanks for tuning in for another video. So on this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a pre-tied bow tie without a sewing machine. So let's get it. What's up YouTube? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Remember to continue to like and subscribe to these videos. So on today, I am doing a pre-tied bow tie. And again, like you guys know how I do, um, I don't have any set stencils that I use. So I just kind of mimic off of uh, a bow tie that I might have or like a tie that I might have. So today I had, I had like some random navy blue bow ties ran, uh, laying around. So I'm basically going to be mimicking this size tie I might go a little wider uh, so to uh, look a little bigger but um, we'll see we'll see and I'm gonna measure this out too for you guys so I already have one opened up in iron so this one here is four four by like nine and a half inches so I'll probably stretch it out to maybe like five, five inches just to give it a little, a wider look. So, of course you need your fabric. So this fabric, this fabric I had, just some spare fabric laying around that I never use. I think it'll look nice as a bow tie. So let me get this ironed out. Again, like I said, I'm just gonna mimic this, but I'll probably stretch it out to like five inches. And when you're doing a pre-tied bow tie, you always need two, two pieces. You're always gonna need two pieces. Like I said, I'm probably gonna go about five inches, maybe five and a half. But you can always, you can always play with it and make it look the way you want it to look. So I got that first piece, piece cut out. And all I'm gonna do is just copy this, this piece that I already have cut. So now I have my two pieces. This is gonna be my bow tie here. Lay those to the side. So the next thing that you're gonna need is the, the neck piece. Again, all I do is mimic off of something that's already made. I just took one apart. And I'm just gonna cut. You're gonna have to make a seam. So I usually cut, let's see. I usually do like one and a half inches and then this bow tie is like an average neck size. So this one is 20 inches. But keep in mind, like with a pre bow tie, pre-tie bow tie, you're gonna have to put the adjustable uh, pieces on there to be able to adjust it to the next size. So that 20 inches will adjust. Um, and the way that I do my bow ties, I like to tie it around the square piece, but you you gotta see that in a little bit. So I'm gonna, I'll probably stretch mine out to like maybe 20, 23 inches. 23 inches by one and a half inches. Thank you. 
it look like I got enough to make a pocket square too, so we might do that as well. So let's see what we can do with that. All right, so we're gonna start with this piece. This is the neck piece here. So again, you need to make a seam. So the thing you're doing is folding, folding the bottom piece over. And ironing that down. And you're gonna fold this bot the top part over. Iron that down. So it's gonna look like this. And again, guys, I use seam tape to bond my fabric together. Pull that out to the same length here. Then I'm just folding down the top piece and ironing that down. So it looks like this. So that's your neck piece. All right. And now we're gonna work on the bow. So this, this is one, one piece here. So again, all I'm doing is folding, folding that over, folding this over here. And like I said, you can go as wide, like if you do I did about five inches. So if you like big bulky neckties, you can cut it wider, you know, to make that, that bow tie look a lot bigger, but I just did five inches. So fold it over like that. And to keep that down, only thing I do is put some seam tape here. Iron that down. Got that down. Then I'm gonna fold these two pieces to the middle. Of course, this is gonna be a front piece, back piece. And sometimes I just tuck these edges so it don't look you know, like it's sticking out too much. So I usually tuck the edges or fold it again just to give it a cleaner look. And you can also use the iron too. So I'll, I'll iron those down. So you can iron those down like that, then just bring it across. like that all right then to keep that spot small pieces piece of seam tape got that bonded together it's one piece then you're doing the same thing with the second piece here. Folding that bottom half, folding the top half. So it looks like that. Seam tape here to make these stick together. Got that glue bonded together. All we're doing is folding this part over. And again, I'm gonna just stick some seam tape back here to secure that spot. So we 
got that down. Now, the only thing we're doing here is putting those two on top of each other, just like that. Just like that. That's how it's going to look. All right. Then I like to take thread. So what we're going to do is fold these two over like this. Just creating a little bow. Creating a bow. And to secure this, I usually use some thread just to hold those in. I like to pull it real tight. You know, try to keep it in the middle. Try to keep that string tight. You know, so you got your bow there. It's not moving. You can pull it as tight as you want. So you got your bow. All right. Now, you take the neck piece here. This is just how I do it. There's other ways to do it, but I usually go, so I lay the bow tie here, about, and we can measure this too, about three inches, go about three inches. All right, we're just gonna tie a knot. And you can tie this knot as tight as you want to around the bow tie. So. All right, all I did was tie the knot in the back. Of course, cut the excess string off. You can tuck that in with the scissors. But there you go. All right. All right, so now for the adjustable piece these two pieces here so this is something all right so you need three pieces that look like this you can get these from your local fabric store too. They have them like two, three dollars. All right. So what you're gonna do is this piece here, you're just gonna go in. Take it in. Then you're gonna go up under back into that side and it looks like that okay all right so you want to make sure that once you got this piece on this will be your next piece that you're going to put on the hook piece Taking that piece straight through the hook piece. And next you wanna, while you're holding that hook piece, you wanna make, push this part up. So you have a little space. Like you can be able to stick your finger in there. All right. You can move this down as far as, as far as you need to. OK. 
okay? So make that little space. And you're gonna take this extra piece here. You're gonna go in. I hope you guys can see that. In, and then you're gonna go back out Pull that fabric through. All right. Then once you got, once you got that, just pull that. And you have the adjustable. You can adjust it the way that you like. The next size you like. All right. So from here. The piece that you pulled in, you're gonna have to sew this down. So, and you have to make sure that it's sewn to together. So when it 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 when uh when you're moving it and adjusting it, it uh, it moves correctly. All right. So I'm just taking needle and thread. All right, so you're gonna wanna fold that piece down. do is go in then go out again you can do this as many times as you want you know just to secure it but just for this video I'm gonna go in in and out one time all right and of course cut that piece you can also do this on a sewing machine just to have that clean look. Um, but for, the, for this video, you know, we're doing it without a sewing machine. So make sure you tie that knot. All right, so looks like that. And now you're able to adjust that that strap the way you want to. All right, and then the last piece is this piece here, because you have to have something to hook it to. This hook has to be able to clamp on this end, make this around your neck, so. And that part is going to go on this piece here. Again, new one thread. But like I said, if you have a sewing machine, you can always use a sewing machine just to give it that cleaner look. All right, and I'm just going to fold this over. Oh, I got to put this piece in. All right, so I got that piece in. I'm just gonna fold. Fold that over like that. If you guys can see that. Just folding it over. And I'm gonna go in and out one time. Make 
Make sure you tie that knot so that piece is not coming loose. bow tie all right guys I hope this information was helpful again leave comments like and subscribe to, to the video like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys on the next one also stick around for pictures I'm definitely gonna put this together with maybe a blazer or something like that. And then, like I said, I do have enough for a pocket square. So I'm probably gonna hook that up as well too. So stay tuned. Thanks again for tuning in. Peace.